So it's occurring to me tonight that there is this kind of, you know, puritanical versus Protestant showdown in the uh, spiritual realm. And so I was thinking about how basically we've got this idea of you get to create what you want. <clears throat> That's the secret. What the bleak do we know? And after feeling denied so much, it feels empowering to create. But there's also this idea that if you came here on a kind of mission, a lot of people who are interested in healing the world and helping, you know, like I'd recommend checking out WFP.org, World Food Program, for like $6.50 a month, you can help somebody live. So, as we shift from, I want a nicer house, I want a nicer car, because these are tied in with basic needs of shelter and mobility, then we start to shift towards what will really make me feel good. How can it be that monks feel good? How can it be that, you know, people that let go of all the world has to offer and just, you know, they don't deny themselves everything, but they start realizing that it's not about just creating what the ego wants. It's not spiritual. It's about tuning in to what you're here to do and knowing that nothing feels better than what you're here to do. And if you want to raise your frequency, speak your truth. You raise the vibration of every cell in your body. And so you can receive information that's true. There's an idea in spirituality that is not the same as just create what you want by using the secret or whatever. I mean, that has its place in the more material world. I want to create a Blu-ray player or whatever. Okay. <laughs> But creating a lesson that the, you know, like who, who you want to be with, like in a relationship, how the fuck would you know? You've never fucking figured that out before. <laughs> so you're going to turn to your ego and say, these are the attributes I want. And you can do that. You know, you can play with form. You can play with manifesting certain physical forms or whatever. But then there's the idea that, you know, the spiritual person has decided to surrender to God, you know, channeling from their wise ancestors, <laughs> however you want to look at it, that forcing your will, your personal will, upon what is happening, you know, that's not working for a lot of people, and so uh, that's why, like, the Taoists have the concept of Wu Wei. That if we can just allow things to unfold as they're naturally unfolding, without trying to force against anything, then we'll feel more relaxed. And we will grow faster because we're open to lessons as opposed to showing off, look at me, I just made a poop. <laughs> Drama, so we can make up the whole wide world.